How's it going guys? Welcome back to another how-to video. So in today's video, I'm going to be showing you how to set up your steering wheel for Farming Simulator 22. So I'm going to be using my Logitech G29 for this tutorial, but this method should work for most wheels on the market. Before we get into it, please make sure to give me a thumbs up if you find this video helpful. It really helps me out and I do appreciate it a lot. With that said, let's get straight into it. So the first thing that we are going to do is open up the software for our steering wheel. So in my case, that is going to be Logitech G Hub. I'm going to click on the wheel here and we're going to have a few settings available to us. So most of this is going to be down to personal preference. So you can play around with it and find what works for you. I like to keep most of it at default, except for the centering spring strength. So operating range default at 900, sensitivity default at 50, centering spring strength I like to have between 0 and 5 just because I like a very light steering wheel. Again, you can adjust this and figure out what works for you. To adjust this, you need to click on this little box down here, centering spring in non-force feedback games. If you are using a different wheel with different software, there should be something similar available to you. So we're going to put that up to 5. In your case, you can put it up to whatever you like it at. And we're going to go over to pedal sensitivity here. Again, I adjust nothing. Everything is at default. You just need to make sure that combined pedals is turned off. All right. Now that we have the software side of things sorted out, we can head into the game and we want to go over to options. So the first thing we're going to look at is force feedback. So this, again, you can adjust to whatever you feel comfortable with. I would suggest playing around with different settings and see what works for you. I personally like to have force feedback turned off, but that is just my personal preference. From here, we're going to head over to this button, which is going to bring us to our keyboard controls. We want to map buttons to our steering wheel, however, so we're going to go down to the gamepad button, click on that, and here you can map actions to your steering wheel. Things like accelerate, brake and steering will need to be mapped by clicking on it and hitting the accelerator pedal. The same with brake and steering. And then other things can be mapped to the wheel as well. Things like start stop engine, click on it and hit whatever button you want associated with that action. And then last but definitely not least, we are going to head over and click on this button over here. That is going to say device mouse. We want to change that, so we're going to click on switch device down here, and that'll bring us over to our wheel. So this is a very, very important step because we are going to be adjusting the dead zones. If you don't know what a dead zone is, imagine turning your steering wheel and for a good part of the rotation on your steering wheel, nothing actually happens to the vehicle in game. So these are all going to be set to default at 14%. You want to drop that down to 2%. You can go to 0%, but that does sometimes create issues like vehicles driving by themselves without you actually touching the pedals. And that is the basics of setting up your steering wheel for Farming Simulator 22. So if you found this video helpful, please make sure to give me a thumbs up. I really do appreciate it and it helps me out a lot. But that's going to be it from me. So thanks for watching and I'll see you all next time.